the mindset put and told us and we shall have Hallelujah say, say a time will be we need to press and seek the face of God in the season that we are in right now. Amen. To see God more women, tell your neighbors in this season. It's a time to press and see the hand of God move in your life. Whatever situation you are facing, be it a loved one, maybe it's with you in your body. It's a time to seek God, even somebody. And this is uh, Peter's writing, even somebody. The one who loves the Lord, even somebody. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. And uh, First Peter chapter 4. Remember, this is a, a leadership class. Amen. 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 But as people come, we've got to pray with them and see God move in their lives. Amen. But there's something that every child of God must understand and be ready for, have the readiness for it. Amen. 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 You know, people think as they come to God and everything is just going to be alright, nothing is going to come your way. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Then the neighbor said, we think sometimes when we come to God, Amen. that as we are receive Him and as we begin to walk with Him, that nothing bad is going to come our way. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. But that's just the opposite. Amen, somebody. Amen. When you are, when you become a light in this dark world, you become a target. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. If somebody hear you preaching the gospel, you become a target. Amen. If somebody hear you talking something good or positive, you're going to become a target. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. You become a target for the enemy. Amen. 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 And this is the Apostle Peter writing. He said, For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Let's read that again. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves, likewise with the same mind. So let's, let's look at the suffering of Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. The Bible speaks about how he was wounded for our transgressions. How he was bruised for our iniquities. How the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are made whole. While he was doing this for us, the Bible said he came unto his own. He came to help his own. To heal his own. To deliver his own and his own water. They received the not is his own that crucified him and destroyed him. Amen. Amen, somebody. It's his own that put him on the cross. A matter of fact, they, they, amen, they desired a thief called Barabbas more than him. Amen. They said, give us Barabbas. Amen. And away with Jesus, crucify him. Amen. And all he did was good. He healed the sick, he raised the dead, he cast out the devil. Never a man spoke like that. He emptied out their synagogues. Amen, they could not accuse them for any sin. Amen. amen. <laughs> The only sin that they could have accused him for is that he claimed to be the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And Peter was writing and he said, For as much then as Christ has suffered for us. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. In the flesh. You were in the flesh. He said, Amen somebody. Arm yourselves like Wise, Amen. having that same mind, being ready as a child of God, as a leader, we have to be ready for the attacks of the enemy. Amen. We got to be ready. So in this season that we are facing, whether we are facing sickness or disease or a loved one is suffering, going to pay water, health wise, amen. We got to be ready for when the enemy comes. And we got to be ready having the sword of the spirit, understanding that we are more than conquerors, not in ourselves, but through Christ that gives us strength. That he is the one that will make us overcome us. Amen. amen. As believers, we, we, we want to relax. Amen. Oh, that's right. That's right. 
we at we at times you want to relax. And uh, Peter begins to warn us about that. Amen, somebody. And let's read verses 12. He speaks about having that same mind, being ready for trials, being ready for affliction, being ready for tumult, having that readiness, being ready for suffering to come. As Christ has suffered, we're going to suffer in the flesh likewise. We're going to have good days, yes, we're going to have peace, we're going to have happiness, but we're also going to have testings and trials uh, that are going to test our faith, that are going to test uh, our, our spiritual sword, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the indwelling word that, that dwells in our heart. And he said, beloved, take it down strange and that word strange Amen. that word strange is something you can't understand Amen. It's, a, it's a mystery to you Amen. you wonder why it happened why it came to you why this happened to you you didn't deserve it how come it came upon you Amen. Jesus didn't deserve that and amen somebody amen. Amen. Then the Bible said he humbled himself Amen. to death Amen. of the cross. Amen. Amen. And we have to have that readiness for warfare. Amen. That readiness. Amen. Amen. For battle. Because Amen. things are going to happen. Strange things. Peter said, Amen. are going to come upon us. And he said, when they come, don't think it's strange. Amen. Amen. It means things that are a mystery to us, things we don't understand. Yeah. Things he wasn't prepared for, things that will baffle us. Yeah. And he said, think you not strange when this fiery, and yeah. amen somebody, and it's going to come out fiery, hot. Yeah. Yeah. It's not coming lukewarm, yeah. it's coming fiery, and it's coming hot. Yeah. It's coming to burn. They're coming to make you run the back you against a corner. They torment your life. They take you out of prayer. They take you out of faith. They take you out of believing God. Even somebody. Yeah. And he said, don't think it's strange when uh, these fiery trials yeah. come to try you. And you something strange has come upon you. Yeah. And that word strange is something we don't understand. Things that we never see happen before in our life. It's not a become a believer. It's not going to happen when they start to pray. It's not going to happen when they start to seek God. It's not going to happen when they become an usher, when they become a prayer worker, when they become a minister. Things that to happen. Things that never happen in your marriage that to happen. Things that never happen in your jobs that to happen. Amen, somebody. And he said, don't think it's straight because you are a target for the enemy. He wants to stop the job that you are doing for God. Amen. Amen. And as a leader, the Bible said that we must have the readiness of mind. Amen. That as Christ has suffered, so must we suffer Amen. in the flesh. So must we be faced with trials and tribulations. So must we be faced with things we don't understand. Amen, somebody. Amen. Battles we don't understand. Situations we don't understand. So then we pray and we pray and we see that God is not answering us. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. We are seeking God and it, it, our prayer becomes hard. Our Christian life becomes hard because we begin to doubt God because we don't understand the reason why we are facing certain circumstances in our lives. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. And Satan begins to target our faith. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 If we try to, 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 amen, to live a comfortable life, amen, somebody, amen. 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 And verse two said that that he and no longer should live, amen, the rest of his time in the flesh and to the lust of men, but to the will of God, the lust of men, the desires of men, and even that is a deception. Amen. 
You look at people and you think that they are happy because they, they're driving nice vehicles or living in big homes. But I'm here to tell you, amen, somebody, as a man of God for over 15 years, praying for all these rich people. Amen. That they have more trouble than those that are poor. Amen. That their money cannot answer for. Amen. They have more skeletons in the closets than you can imagine. Amen. And we look at that to the lust of the flesh and the one that life. Amen. True, go on. We're looking at the life Amen. Go on, go on. Amen. that they are living Amen. and we do not know what skeletons they have That's in the right. closet. Amen. Amen. And you do not know that you are more happy than them. I said the Bible says, God in this with contentment is great gain. Amen. 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 You have more peace at night when you rest than Amen. you have. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And, he, and, and, Peter, and Peter is writing, and he said that you no longer should live the rest of his, of time. his time in the flesh, or to the lust of men, but to the will of God. Amen, Amen somebody. So what? To the will of God. Amen. Amen. That you are living to what? The will of God. Not to the lust of men, or the desires of men, but to the will of God. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And if you understand that God's will, the Bible says God has a plan to prosper us. Amen. Plans for us to be in health and in strength. Plans for us to be ahead and not the tail. Amen. Amen, somebody. Plans for us to find peace, but it's not for the come to the lust of men. Amen. Amen. Or the desires of men, Amen. or the will of men, or the way that you see, can a man receive it? Amen. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. 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 For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Amen. The scripture shows us that Christ alone obedience to his suffering. He, amen. He learned obedience to suffering. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. We can be confident and our confidence can turn into arrogance. Amen. And we become disobedient. Amen. But when we are humble, we learn obedience. Amen. So when you are humble, you learn obedience. And the Bible tells us that we are not humble to the will of God. The same people writing that humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. It's subject yourself to the will of God. Things that you can change and you can fix. Have faith in God and He's leading you to a destiny greater than you can imagine. Amen. Amen. And the time you take the worry to fight and the struggle, you are wasting time. Use that time to seek God. Use that time to put your faith into practice. Use that time to draw closer to God. Use that time to seek God for that brother, that sister, that uncle, that father, that mother. Amen, somebody. See God move in their heart. See God move in their mind. See God deliver them and draw them back. Amen. That time you take the cry, that time you take the faith away. To destroy your own mind and your own faith. Amen. When you could have stand strong and see God move. Amen. That's right. Because without faith it is impossible to please God. Amen. We can cry a prayer of faith in But we can also cry a prayer of despair. There are tears of despair and there are tears of faith. Amen. There's a difference. Amen. Amen. Forget about said there are tears of despair. Amen. People who have given up. And there are tears of faith. People who are seeking God from their heart and standing upon God's word. Amen. 
Hezekiah's tears was not tears of the spirit, but one of faith. Amen. He stood upon God's word, he turned his face to the Lord, and he said, Lord, remember Amen. your servant. Amen. Amen. Remember how I stood for you. Amen. Remember how I pulled down the altars of Baal. Amen. 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 That the prophet Isaiah stopped and came back and said, Thou shalt not die, but thou shalt live. Amen. 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 His prayer of faith, the Bible said, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Amen. The Bible said, the full and effectual prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Amen. 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 Full and continuous Amen. in prayer without ceasing, pushing, moving forward until God moves. Amen. That God has to move. Amen. You are meeting all the requirements. God has to move. Amen. 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 Amen somebody. Amen. So then you say, when you have met the requirements of God, Amen. God has to move. God owes no man anything. God will not go against his word. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So we got to arm our minds with your, your readiness to face trials and tribulation. To be prepared. Always prepared when it comes. So you must say, you got to be always prepared when it comes. You've got to be prepared when it comes. Always prepared for it. The Bible says we all not to be ignorant of the subtle devices of the enemy. Amen. 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 We are ready for the battle ahead. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. God has given us His word to give us strength to come through what life brings to us. Amen. <coughs> Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen. He's not just going to make things disappear. Amen. He's not going to make the neighbor next door giving him trouble because the man I want to pull the cut last Amen. disappear. Amen. You, pray, you pray this morning and you give him that pain disappear. He no longer can hurt. Are you going to understand what I'm saying? Amen. But he will give you the wisdom and the knowledge through his world and like guide us out of contact here. Amen. Amen. He will send help for you. Amen. He will put the right people in the right place for you. Amen. Amen. He might do this your favor from the road, but God might have a way to move him out. Amen. And if God can move him out, he will make peace. The Bible says when a man away is pleased God, is even his enemies shall be at peace with him. He will know that God is with him. If God shall be for you, who shall be against you? Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So when we speak about the sword of the spirit, it is an individual. Learning how to handle God's word in his daily life. Amen. Amen. So when we speak about the sword of his, the spirit, it is an individual. Learning how to handle God's word in your daily life. When the father in law starts to get trouble. When the mother in law starts to get trouble. When the uncle starts to get trouble. When the wife starts to get trouble. The Spirit of God in you, Amen. Somebody Amen. tells you through His Word what to do, That's right. how to do it, True. how to find victory, Amen. how to find deliverance, Amen. how to find strength, Amen. how to find grace, Amen. how to fix the situation. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Amen. How to destroy the enemy coming against you. Let it be from principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of the small spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. The fact that God has given you power over all the powers of the enemy that nothing in the least shall harm you. 
Amen. We know what this word says, but it's, it's a different one when it, when it is applied to faith. Amen. There's a difference by knowing and by applying. Let me say there's a difference when you know and when you are able to apply. So the Bible says we are living epistles, seen and read of all men. Amen. 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 Is that for the letter? Kill it. Yes, we know the letter, but it is the Spirit of God Amen. that Amen. gives life to that word. Amen. 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 So we know what the, we know that Jesus paid the price of healing, he paid the price of deliverance. How much should we go and we see demons cast out? How much should we go and we see the sick healed? How much should we go and we see people's life being transformed? Why? Because there is just a letter there and no spirit. Amen. 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 When we as believers are, are struggling, we lack the spirit of God. Amen. When we are struggling to overcome evil and devices and weakness, it because we lack the spirit. Amen. We have the letter, we know what the word say, but we lack what? The spirit. That's why the Bible called the sword, the sword of the spirit. Amen. 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 The sword of the spirit. The Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We know what the, the letter says. But it's the spirit that at time gives you strength to conquer and to overcome. Amen. 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 Verses Amen. one again for as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh. Arm yourself. The name is arm yourself. Prepare yourself. Likewise with the same mind. Amen. 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 And look, verses 12 said, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing has happened to you. But rejoice in as much that you are partakers of Christ's suffering. That where his glory shall be revealed, where, where his glory shall be revealed in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. When your blessing will come, when your strength will come, when your help will come, even when it shall be revealed. You, you are going to this, amen, amen somebody, because there is something that God is going to reveal to you. There is something God is going to bring to you. Amen. amen. You are suffering like Christ has suffered, not with all purpose, but with a purpose. Amen. Christ suffered for a purpose. Amen. Your suffering is for a purpose. Amen. Your trials is for a purpose. Amen. What you are facing is for a purpose. Amen. Sometimes we face things for people to be saved, to be transformed, to grow. Amen. 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 But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when the glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. And when God gives you what He has for you, you will jump, you will sing, you will spread the news, you will run east, west, north, south, you will share a testimony what God has promised, God has bring it to pass. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. You know how, how great and awesome it is when, when you are able to prove God and have faith in God and see miracles happen. Amen. You know your faith increases. Amen. When you go into fasting and praying and you hold God this word and after you come out of fast and that pray, you see God begin to move. You see things begin to happen. You see change begin to Amen, take place. Amen. Amen. Your faith goes to our next level. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Put your hands together for the Lord today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible said, if 
The Bible said that we should not suffer for sin. Sin, sin is a choice. Sin is a, sin is a choice. Sin is a choice. It's a decision made by temptation and desire. So the name back says, sin is a choice. It's a decision made by temptation and by desire. And let's read for that for the time past of our life may suffice us to have walked the will of the Gentiles. When we walk in lascivious business, exceeding us. Amen. Excess of wine and revelings and banquetings and abominable idolatries. Wherein they think it strange that they run not with them to the same excess of wrath, speaking evil of you. Who shall give an account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. But they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Now listen to that. That Jesus went when he died and went and judged the dead. The Bible says that he went down into the what pits of hell. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. And wounded principalities and powers and made an open soul. And he judged all the dead in Hades as though they were living. That no man that will come after him will be left without excuse. Amen. And the God that was fixed he separated it. Amen. 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 Needed paradise. Amen. Amen. Or what they call Abraham's bosom Amen. then. Amen. Was separated from Hades. Amen. He removed it. Amen, someone. Amen. Amen. And he judged the dead as though they were living. Amen. 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 That no man present will be left without excuse for the, the choices and the decisions we make while coming to the knowledge of the Son of God. Amen. 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 Verses 5. Who shall give an account to him that is ready? To judge the quick and the dead. For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. That they might be judged according to men in the flesh. But live according to God in the spirit. So Jesus went and what? He preached the gospel. Down in, the, in Hades or the pits of him. And the amen and the same gospel that will judge us will judge him. For the end of all things is at hand. But be you therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the much you have sins we don't love. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man has received a gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. And if any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God give it, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom praise and dominion forever and ever. So you see that there are many preachers and pastors today, but not according to the gift of God, and not according to the ability that God has given to them. Amen. They have took up upon themselves, amen, as a physical service. Amen. Because they desire, not because God gave it. And so they are making a, a, a mess of the kingdom of God. Amen, somebody. Amen. Because they was not called to this job. They just wanted to do it. Amen. So they went and study, amen, philosophy and theology. Amen. And the Bible and history. And come and bring three point servants on it. Amen. And the spirit of God is their present. Amen. 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 And he said, he said, if any man has to speak, let him speak as what? The oracles of God. 
And if any man has to minister, let him do it as well. The ability which God gave it. Amen. That God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Beloved, think it not strange because you know what? The fiery child which is to try you as though what? Some strange things that happen to you. But rejoice it as much as you are what? But take us of Christ's suffering that when his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also with exceeding joy. And in verses 14, now, if you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you for the spirit of glory and of God resting upon you. So when you begin to, to go to trials and tribulations, because you are a believer, you become a target for the enemy, and Satan begins to use people in your life, whether it be a boss, a friend, a brother, sister, a job. Sure. The Bible says, what is resting upon you? Glory. The spirit of glory and, and of God, God rested upon you to overcome what you are facing. Amen. The spirit of what? Glory and of God rested upon you. Amen. And on their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is glorified. Amen. But verses 15, but let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evil doer, or as a busy body in other men's matters. There are always people who make it confusion, people who like to bad talk, old talk, amen, who like to whisper, amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Whisper things in people here, think they don't, they don't need to talk about things, that's not their business. Amen. So they must say, it's not your business. Amen. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Amen. Amen. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. But let him be glorified. Amen. But let him glorify God on his behalf. See, you know, sometimes you're going through things and amen somebody and you're feeling ashamed. Amen. Because I as a believer and as a Christian, why go to this world? And I do what God called me to do. Why I go to this world? True, we might be chance. You are going to what you are going to because of who you are. Amen. And because what has God has called you to do. Amen. And you need to understand when you are facing things in righteousness, what is upon you. So you need to use the weapons that God has given to you of your warfare. A different anointing, a different strength comes upon you in the time when you are suffering. Amen. Amen. But you need to understand, amen somebody, if you are a person that is in depressed and in despair, that power cannot rest upon you. Amen. It rests upon people who will not lift their eyes to the hills. Amen. Who accept the challenge. The challenge. Who say, you think you can defeat me, you think you can win me, you think you can overcome me. Amen somebody. Amen. Those that are able to stand like David and said, you are circumcised for this time. You have a soul, you have a spirit, look at me. Amen. Amen, amen. amen somebody. Amen. amen. As a shepherd attending, amen, to sheep, all I have is a staff and a stinging shot. But I come in the name of the Lord. Take up a stinging shot and defeat. Amen. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. Defeat a Goliath. Amen. Defeat a giant that was almost 12 feet tall. That no, no great man in the army, no trained man could have defeated. And all men say, he defeated him in the name of the Lord. With a sting shot and a pepper. That's the kind of thinking God wants from His people. Tell that's the type of thinking God wants from them. Arm your minds, prepare your minds to face battle, to face tribulation. Always be ready for battle. Always be ready for tribulation. Amen, somebody. Always be ready. You think this change when it pop up? Don't take it strange when it happens, when it comes upon you. But you rather prove God in your time of trouble. What is that call upon me in the times of trouble? And I will show you great and mighty things that you do not. 
him as somebody. You think when you say call him, he's just a bald boy. It's to believe on him. No. Believe on him in the time of trouble. Trust in him in the time of trouble. Pray in the time of trouble. Fast in the time of trouble. Seek him in the time of trouble. Amen, somebody. And he will show up. He will show you. Who is going to show you? Who is going to show you? You is going to show great and mighty things that you know not of. Amen. So the neighbor say, in the time of your trouble, the spirit of glory and of God will rest it upon you. So the neighbor say, I declare upon you, in your time of trouble, the spirit of glory and of God will rest it upon you. Amen. 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 Verse 6, yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on his behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit to the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. So this whole chapter was speaking about the suffering of a believer. And when we, when, we, when we suffer, we are partakers with Christ. There are many people that want to live for Christ and don't want to go through anything. Yeah. And if, if you're not going through anything as a believer, you are not a partaker of Christ. So yeah. then you say, if you're not going through anything yeah. as a believer, you are not a partaker yeah. of the blessing of Christ. So if you partake also of the suffering, you will also partake of his glory, of his victory. Amen. 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 But he said, don't let no, him be named among you as a believer. And we are suffering for this type of sins in our lives. And Masata say that the worldwide Christianity today is suffering for this. We are suffering for wrong choices, Amen. wrong decisions, Amen. wrong people in our lives. Amen. We are not acknowledging God yes. and we are walking in circles because of our, of our lack of faith and temperance. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And so, you will amen them. There will not be any leadership class on the following Monday here, next Monday. And so this will take us even to the Son of the Spirit, how to use it skillfully. Amen. The Son of the Spirit, a sword is for battle. A sword is for battle. Amen. Amen. A sword is to cut down over enemies, is to be fit and to overcome. Amen. 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 So we've got to have the readiness of mind, the prepared mind for battle, for fiery trials. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I pray this word will be root in the hearts of our people tonight. Give us a readiness of mind, a prepared mind, a mind always prepared for trials and tribulations. For problems that will pop up in our lives, things that will hurt us, bring pain to our lives, bring fear and torment us. But that having that readiness of mind, you'll be able to conquer, attack the enemy, and to find victory and peace in the midst of our storms. Give us that readiness of mind, Father. And we would not think it strange when the fiery trial comes to try us, like if something strange has come upon us. We pray, give us the strength. Give us the courage and the inner man to know the will of God. To have faith and patience even in times when we don't understand God. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to call upon Sister Abel. She's going to dismiss now with a prayer tonight.